Hey everyone. Not about Dave Hughes, obviously. I'm not even from here, I'm uh, English. Born and bred in uh, Joondalup. <laughs> got about 10 years ago and I, uh, I got one of those camper vans and travel up camper van. It was a van that happened to have a mattress in it, but we drove around the country, me and my friend, we drove around the country and that was my first glimpse into what you lot are like as a people and I fucking love it. Like, you're so laid back. You lot do not give a fuck. It's wonderful. But we were driving through the great sandy desert and there was this, uh, there was, you know, tire marks in the road and this, this guy had obviously had swerved to hit, uh, avoid hitting an animal and his car was fucked on the side of the road, all bent up. But he was a true Australian, just think of his shit. He sat there, covered in sweat and dust. But as we were driving by, he let us know that everything was okay. He was just like... <laughs> <laughs> so good for you, fucking hell, I'd be living. <laughs> Even as we're driving by, passenger, fucking pissing around, he's fallen asleep, exhausted from like blowing the world's biggest bubblegum bubble or something, I don't know. <laughs> but he wasn't faced either. I love it, I love you lot. And then I got back to Perth, and I, I, I met a girl and fell in love, and the rest is, as they say, fucked. Like, <laughs> got married, built a house, got one of those fucking uh, babies. <laughs> so I'm sort of stuck here now. My, my days of travelling around in a van are done. So that's alright. I don't mind. She's, uh, she's wonderful. She's an amazing, I mean, she's my visa, but she's. <laughs> But well, she's terrific, I suppose, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> We're very different though. Like the two of us have got a very different approach to just life in general. We've also a very different approach to parenting and that's where that's the thing that really sort of gets me. Like I I'm not more laid back than she is. And she uh, you know, we, we tried to employ this tactic when our son was very, very young. I'd, I'd read that, you know, if your baby's crying, you're supposed to just let them cry out sometimes. You're not gonna just rush off to them straight away. And uh, we were doing this, he was only a couple of weeks old, and he hadn't been crying for very long either, a minute or two. And she was like, look, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go and check on him. And I was like, it's been a couple of minutes. You really think he's done in the bath already? Like, <laughs> <"Damn it." laughs> I've seen him, like parents, other parents as well. Like, um, people are glued to their phones a lot. That's something that always kind of gets me. I'm like, well, you can't be present if you're always on your phone. And I do it sometimes too. So now, I, you know, if I catch myself doing it, I go, no, phone down, concentrate on the road. <laughs> There is a good chance he's not strapped in well. <laughs> yeah, I'm often in a rush. So I saw this woman the other day, right? She was in the shops and she was just losing her mind. And uh, I went up to her, you know, what, what's the matter? And it turned out she'd lost her kid. Like, her, her kid had just wandered off. And, you know, obviously being a parent myself, I was incredibly jealous. <laughs> And uh, you know, I said to her, look, it, it, it's okay, it's, it's going to be okay, I can help you make another one. <laughs> I can't read social cues, that's my problem. <laughs> my, uh, my son had his birthday recently as well, he, um, and he's like this old now, or whatever, I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> it, as he gets older, I see a lot of me in him, and uh, you know, that, is, that is really nice, but like, yeah, I can, I can see a lot of my personality coming out. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Uh, like, like me, he's fucking stupid. That's not, a, that's not really a great thing. He was uh, singing "Old MacDonald Had a Farm" in the car the other day, and he went, "Donald, Donald got no arms." <laughs> like the fucking images this kid paints, like. It, like how horsey there, horsey here. What the fuck are you hanging out? <laughs> Jesus Christ, did, did you not hear the things that I'm hearing? I was at the Cuddly Animal Farm too, mate. Fuck. <laughs> Doing the alphabet as well, which is a mess, let me tell you, because. <laughs> you know, he, he says to me, can we do, can we do the ABCs? I'm like, alright. First things first, you've just said A, B, C, so I know you've got those three fucking letters down, right? But no, because when he starts, he's like, I lost when I'm here, here, here. Like, fucking hell, what is this? He gets to the end, he's so confident, right? He wants to be like, now I know. Mate, you, you don't know shit, I'm sorry, you, you don't know shit. <laughs> My wife, uh, she's, she works in a children's hospital, right? 
and obviously she's a parent herself, so she sees terrible things as a, as a nurse, but being a parent herself, she um, has changed a lot of her, her, her views and stuff. She said to me recently, she went, you know, a bit further down the line, would you consider adoption? And I was like, that's a wonderful thing to do. I was like, yeah, absolutely. Let's fuck him off. That's... <laughs> Thank you so much.